Hey guys, and welcome back to PlumbingPartsPro.com. Today we're going to talk about a part fits a new style American Standard toilet. Okay, this is a piston style flush valve assembly, number three one seven four dot one zero five dash zero zero seven zero A. This has recently been started being made by Fluid Master Company. Uh, however, it's still genuine American Standard product. Um, inside, you're going to find the wrench to remove this large nut on the bottom of the toilet. Instructions for the American Standard Champion 4. And if you notice here up close, the old style flush valve was a white tower they had a lot of difficulty with when they first came out. This new one's going to be the replacement for it. Works much better. And wrapped up inside here is going to be the flush valve assembly. This here is a little bit better flushing system than the old one. The old one tend, tended to hang up and uh, eventually break. This one comes up and down, rides up. When you flush it, drop back down. Very little hang ups, very little issues. Uh, it's pretty easy to install. It's got a large flush valve. Uh, what this does, this really lets the water drain out quickly and uh, gives you that quick uh, quality flush. Another thing I carry is the replacement gasket here. These things tend to go bad over time uh, just like any gasket or rubber seal or flapper in a toilet and what you can do, this is the um, American Standard let's see focus in on there 730-1111 dash 0070A and uh, that is the OEM replacement part gasket assembly here if you notice it comes with a little red o-ring in the bag as well you can get some of these made by Corky or some other uh, generic uh, manufacturers but the quality of the rubber is not quite as good not quite as soft and it doesn't come with this gasket has instructions here of how to install it and like I said it is genuine American Standard products to change that out what you would do flush the toilet obviously turn the water off and get that water out and this little thumb screw twist to the left it's going to give you a little bit of pop because it's got some notches to hold it in place there and then just continue to screw that apart and that comes loose here you would remove the gasket and like I said the OEM one that little red o-ring seal there uh, comes with that seal. A lot of your generics do not come with that. So that's a good o-ring to replace. Could cause that little leak that you it's really hard to find. So change the gaskets, push that seal in there, put the new seal on top here. We're going to reassemble. And then we're going to Turn that clockwise until we get this reinstalled. It's going to snap in place so it's good and secure. Okay. If you guys uh, have any questions about it, certainly give me an uh, email or a comment below. The email is info at plumbingpartspro.com. You guys have a great day. Thanks a lot.